know you're cold and won't get back inside to get your coats and cup of coffee so uh, we'll try to finish up as quick as we can. If all of our stage guests would please come on up. Uh, start out with a uh, quick preview here of what you can expect at the fair. And, uh, take a good look there. get a chance to uh, to join for the uh, dinosaur show. It's located over uh, by the uh, petting zoo, over towards the uh, livestock area there. Uh, this is his second year with us, and uh, we're real proud. He does uh, several of the elementary schools. Uh, he will attempt, go to those schools and put on a show. So uh, you can catch your show free tonight, but then the, uh, the schools, your kids at the school will be able to get those hopefully on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday when we have our uh, Children's Day out here. We'll encourage all of those kids to come. I would like to uh, welcome all of you here. Uh, I want to, first of all, uh, thank uh, Sanderson Farms. Uh, Sanderson Farms was a... Uh, all of that, they were, they were so tied up uh, fixing uh, chickens that they didn't have time, uh, but they sent their best regards, and of course, again, they're, uh, they're sponsoring our free admission tonight, so a special thank you goes out to them. We also want to thank the uh, Lumberton Visitors Bureau for sponsoring Miss North Carolina. Uh, we are delighted to have our homegrown up here. I tell you, that one there grew up on the fairgrounds here. In fact, uh, uh, she got to know a cow uh, on a personal basis uh, several years ago when we were having a milking uh, contest out here. Do you remember that? <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. I remember that. Uh, but a special thank you again to the uh, Visitors Bureau for uh, bringing them in. Uh, we're going to start out with our invocation, and I'm going to ask the uh, Honorable Garland Pierce if he would uh, give us our invocation there. Garland's our resident and the pastor here. Do you all mind standing? Just bow your head with me. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Our Father and our God, we are somewhere this afternoon on this beautiful day that you have blessed us with. We are so grateful and we're thankful because we are mindful of folks in Puerto Rico, Texas, and other places who are not experiencing what we're experiencing today. So, Lord, we are grateful and thankful here in Robson County, and we do pray and ask that if you be kind enough, bless us with a wonderful week of fair weather. Bless us that we might enjoy all that you have blessed us to enjoy. I thank you for all the organizers. I thank you for all of those who have worked hard for us to come today. Lord, we pray now that you'll continue to bless us and keep us. For us in Christ's name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. God bless you. Uh, please keep standing. We're going to have, uh, first of all, our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, and now I'm going to invite Miss Victoria Huggins for a beautiful rendition of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Still 
there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. Well, hello, Robinson County. Finally, I'm home. Thank you so much for being here tonight for the opening of the 71st annual Robinson County. Well, I knew it as the Robinson County Fair, but now we're all fancy and doing the Robinson Regional Agricultural Fair. Are y'all excited? Oh, I wanna thank every single person who is up on this platform. They each have meant something very special to me in my life. And also to several of you who are out there, thank you so much for supporting me ever since I got started here at the fair, six years old, my mother would volunteer on the fair board, and she always knew that if her MC dropped out or somebody didn't show up to perform, guess who got to? <laughs> and it gave me some of the most invaluable experience that I could have ever had, going to its showtime at the Apollo, yeah. to Star Search, American Idol, and now all the way to Atlantic City to Miss America. <laughs> I am grateful that I have had your support and your love and your prayers every single step of the way. June the 24th, I was crowned the 80th Miss North Carolina, and to date, with my scholarships that I earned at Miss America, I have now earned over $51,000 in scholarships to help me earn my education debt free. So thank you guys for doing that for me because without your support, I would not have been able to have done all that I have been able to do. And the great thing about being from Robinson County is when I travel across our great state, this is now my 95th appearance as Miss North Carolina. Woo! It's been a busy three months. So if you see that white Miss North Carolina Ford Fusion out there, please just extend your hand and pray for it. And then pray for these two individuals right down here up front, my mama and my daddy. Yeah. And my beautiful grandma who's with me tonight. Because <laughs> most of the time I have to travel by myself, but I am happy whenever they get to come with me. So book me home as much as possible so I can be with Robinson County and my family as much as possible. God bless you. Thank you for having me and enjoy the Robinson Regional Agricultural Fair, the best fair in North Carolina. Who, who wants to try to follow that? Uh, I, I'll take volunteers on that one. Uh, we do appreciate Victoria and it was Victoria's grandfather that enlisted me in the uh, National Guard uh, in 1970. I retired in 2000 for 30 years, and it was her grandfather that enlisted me. So I knew her before she was who she was. I knew her way back. Her dad and I, of course, served together. So a special, special meaning there. Uh, someone said a while ago that uh, you know, you're forgetting some of that military training you had. And I said, well, I'm a little confused on, on uh, I, I thought I had retired, but of course you never forget the things that you learn. And I said, well, what are you talking about? And they said, well, you've got everybody that is anybody in Robinson County gathered together in one spot. If ISIS were to drop a bomb here, uh, wouldn't we be in a mess? I mean, we've got everybody from the sheriff to the police chief to all of our legislators uh, and the beautiful Miss North Carolina. So we would be in a bind. But uh, hopefully ISIS, uh, we've got some special guards out there. The uh, sheriff's got his men on special lookouts. So hopefully we won't have any of those up here today. Uh, I do want to uh, welcome, uh, we do have our uh, senator with us, uh, Danny Britt. And if you'd stand, please. And I'm going to tell you, I, I found out, and of course this goes for every one of our people, 
they are accessible. You know, the, you hear this thing about politicians and, and once they get elected you can never find them or anything. Well, that's not, that's not true of the group we have now, I'm going to tell you. I think they may have brought a little hot air and some gnats with them when they came today, but, uh, but we appreciate them and we know that we can find them. Want to welcome uh, Charles Graham and uh, Garland Pierce. Thank you guys. This is, the, uh, this is the 71st uh, annual fair, and uh, we're, not all, we're not any of us going to share with how many of the fairs we've been at, but let's just say we've all been around here a long time to see these fairs, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. We do have with us the uh, Honorable Mayor Pro Tem, Big Wayne Robinson. Right? Uh, we have with us, too, our chairman of our county commissioners who have really, really been a blessing to us this year and, and in the past. And I tell you, it's uh, when people say they can't get through to the county commissioners, I say, well, first, first Tuesday night of every month, I know right where to find the uh, chairman of the county commissioners. Tom. They have been mighty, mighty, mighty good to us this year. Uh, I'd like to also recognize our sheriff, uh, Ken Seeley. Uh, I tell you folks, without all of these people, and of course especially the sheriff and our, our police chief here, Mike McNeil. Right. If a person tells you they don't feel safe at the Robinson County Fair, I'm sorry they feel that way, but they might be just a little bit paranoid because on any given time we have deputies everywhere and, and that's, not, that's not because we're afraid of uh, something. We just want a presence there and everyone to know that this is a family affair and that we're here for the safety of every individual. Uh, Matt McDonough, our carnival owner, Matt, was going to join us, but he is tied up right now. But we're, we're proud of Big Rock Amusements. Matt sends his regards. The, uh, yes. Thank you for all these rides out here. Way shows and Big Rock and primarily Big Rock. Uh, some of these rides just came in from the Oklahoma State Fair yesterday. So you're riding on state fair rides, and when they leave here, they will be headed uh, up uptown to... Uh, uh, Raleigh up there where is home for some of these folks. We also need to make sure we recognize Miss Vicki Locklear is with us as our Register of Deeds. Vicki. <laughs> okay, also from our Chamber of Commerce we have the uh, Chairman here, Al Locklear. And we have from the Visitors Bureau, and we work, we work very, very uh, well and hard with all of these folks, Angela Sumner. <laughs> have I missed any guests? Is there any, if you haven't stood up, there means there's a problem. We got you coming. Oh, okay. All right. So Jerry Stevens here is one of our county commissioners. Jerry, <laughs> welcome. Last year, Matthew, uh, we, were, we were forced to close down our fair last year, uh, actually closed on Thursday night. Uh, Matthew uh, blew into Lumberton here, and it brought a lot of misery that we still encounter today. Uh, one of the tragedies that, that, that uh, Matthew since Matthew came, of course, uh, we, we lost one of our uh, prime vendors, Miss Barbara McNeil, is no longer with us, and so we, we miss her. But a bigger part of our heart is we lost one of our fair board members last year. Uh, actually, during Matthew, uh, Mr. Charles Ivey, who had been a member of this, on this fair board, a member of the JCs, uh, Charles was well thought of, a well loved individual. And today, in honoring uh, Charles and his life, we invited uh, his family. Uh, if we could get the uh, family to rise there, uh, we have uh, his wife, uh, Ms. 
this year our premium book in honor of Charles Ivey. We have here for you, for the family, we were able to get the framed copy that we want to honor the family with and know how much we miss Charles. We don't miss him just during the fair either. All of his activities and all of the things that he did. Uh, we love, we love y'all and you know that you've always got a place and we have this for you and then in, for the fairgrounds itself, We got the shirt there. This was this was Charles' shirt. So we, we just can't tell y'all how much we, we love and miss and know that y'all do. I know that you've always got friends that you can come out here and be with, and especially during the fair. We're here for you guys anytime that we can be. Thank you so much. Going to ask now for our uh, benediction from the pastor of West Lumberton Baptist, of course, where Charles was a member, Mr. Rick Foreman. Thank you so much for uh, what you've done for Charles and his family. Uh, Charles was such a important member of West Lumberton Baptist Church. We miss him every time those doors are open. And I know there's many in Lumberton that miss Charles too. If you knew Charles, you know that he loved his family, he loved the Lord, he certainly loved his church. He probably invited most of y'all to West Lumberton Baptist Church. He always invited people to church. But Charles loved Lumberton. He loved this fair. He loved the people of Lumberton. He was always busy at work promoting this great city. So we can be forever thankful that Charles Ivey crossed our path in this life. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father and our God. Thank you for this day you have so graciously given us. And Father, thank you for the opportunity to live in a county that's unashamed to call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A county that's willing to stand up for Jesus. A county that does not judge people based on their level in society or the color of their skin. But Father, we see them as you see them. And those you love so much that you gave your son that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And Father, during these days of the fair, we pray for Your presence in this place, that all who come to these grounds may know that there is a God in heaven, a God who rules and reigns, a God who loves Him more than they could ever imagine, a God who is with Him every step of the way. Father, we pray for Your hand of protection, to be upon all those who visit this place. Father, may there be safety in this facility. Father, may they be safe on the rides and safe as they, they tour all the wonderful exhibits that you have given us. And Father, may you continue to allow us to fellowship together and to have a time like this where we as a community can come together, encourage one another in their walk with you. Encourage one another in their their life that you have given us. So Father, may you continue to bless those who make the decisions, those that bring all these things together. And Father, may we not ever fail to give you the praise and honor and glory for it all, for it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We would ask now that uh, we are going to have our ribbon cutting ceremony. Pretend like they're all like each other squeezed together. Pretend like you're here. I love it. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. 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 Come on.